Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another secondhand doll haul. Today we are focusing on Barbie. I have three different Barbies to show you guys today that um, we're doing kind of a, I guess more of a mini haul. Three isn't many, but like I couldn't wait to do this video. So we're doing three Barbies and like a little mini haul today, all of which are older Barbies, like secondhand Barbies that I'm very, very excited about. Before I get into that though, just like a quick personal note, I guess you could call it that. Um, if I seem weird today, or if I seemed weird in my last couple of videos or my next couple of videos, I'm hoping not, but like maybe in the next couple of videos, I've had a horrific headache for a week now. <laughs> I'm just existing. I am going to go to the doctor. They didn't have like an appointment super, super soon. So like I have an appointment set to hopefully get it figured out, but there wasn't anything I could do up until then. So if I have seemed a little bit less like energetic or a little bit less expressive, um, or if I seem that way today, it's not that I am not happy to be here. It's just that my head really <laughs> hurts. But since it's literally every day, almost all the time, um, I, I didn't want to just sit there and like be in pain and not be doing anything because I'm in pain regardless. So it's like, I still want to try and have fun and try to enjoy life in the ways that I can. So we're still doing a doll haul today. I'm still filming and still making videos. Um, but I just kind of wanted to say that because I didn't want anyone to come across this video and think that like, I'm not actually super happy because I am, I'm very excited. I am just dealing with some stuff, but that aside, that's not the important part. The important part is the dolls. So first of all, that we're looking at today, I showed her off in the um, doll collector tag that I was tagged in for an unopened doll. And we're going to be opening her today. This is the Fairytopia Magical Mermaids Christy. She is so pretty. The back here of the box, you can see that there were three different colors that came out for this doll. She's also dusty, so <laughs> sorry if she looks really grimy. The actual doll will be fine, but the box is a little dusty. But yeah, you can see the three colors that came in this um, set. And I love orange. Orange is my favorite color. I also love yellow. So like color scheme for this doll, top tier. She had to be the one that I get. I have been eyeing her for a while and I finally managed to find her for a semi-decent price. So she's the first one that we're gonna be taking a look at today. She doesn't really stand up, so I can't like, see, yeah. Uh, second one that we're looking at is the Princess of the Incas. I actually bought this doll from one of you guys. Thank you again. I'm very, very grateful. So, so excited to have her. This is from the Dolls of the World Princess Edition collection. If you've been here for a while, you've definitely seen or heard me talking about these dolls. I just think this is such a phenomenal line, so I'm super excited to be able to add another one to my collection. On the back here, just like with all of the other um, Princess Edition Dolls of the World dolls, there's like a little blurb about this doll and like her culture. So I will take a picture and I'll have it on the screen here so you guys can pause to read that if you like. I do cut the back off of these boxes and I save these little blurbs because I think it's so cool that this is included and I just think it's really, really fun. So that is the second doll that we have to look at. And the third one, okay. I already cried once about this. So I can feel the tears welling up again. <laughs> I was gonna try not to cry again, especially with my headache, but I might end up crying because this was actually a gift from one of you guys. And yep, there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna try to collect myself. It just makes me really emotional because the idea that one of you likes what I do and likes my videos enough to want to send something to me and be so generous with me makes me really emotional. Sorry, this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm very much a person who understands giving to other people and who understands like supporting other people, but I have a hard time kind of turning that on myself. So experiencing that made me really emotional. <laughs> Alternate title of this video is just that I cry for, what, 20 minutes? Um, but one of you guys gifted me the Enchantress from Fairytopia. I can't even get my words out. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself because I feel so silly that I can't like keep it in. But I'm really, really emotional and really very grateful. Um, obviously, you know who you are. I don't want to mention your name in case like you want to remain private, but thank you again. I'm sure you're seeing this. I'm very clearly <laughs> very happy and very emotional about it. She is one that I featured on one of my doll wish list videos. And um, so one of you guys sent her to me and 
<laughs> I'm very emotional, so I'm extra excited to get into this one. There's like another little blurb about the world of Fairy Tobia on the back here. Um, so I'm excited for all three of these dolls. This one especially just has a very, like, already a very special place in my heart. Um, but yeah, sorry about the crying. <laughs> That's enough of that. At least the rest of the crying will be off camera because at this point I'm sure there's going to be more. But those are the three dolls that we have to tackle here today. I'll try to like hold them up for you so you can actually see them. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and unbox these off camera really quick. As always, if you guys do find yourself enjoying your time here, if you could give the video a like, it's very helpful to me. And if you're new and you like your time here, definitely subscribe so you can see more. Um, but yeah, I'm going to collect myself get these unboxed and then we will take a look at them and just have a fun time talking about some older dolls so i will see you guys in a second okay even though this is empty i have gotten everybody unboxed but we're just gonna go one at a time so we can really focus on each of them as they deserve and i'm just gonna go in the same order that i talked about them in the intro because i feel like that's the easiest thing to do so first off we have christy look at how cute she is she's got her little crown her hair is like stiff like this is one piece you know <laughs> so she definitely needs a wash but like it's gonna be so beautiful once it's washed i love the orange streaks throughout this it's just she's so so cute the tops are really fun to me i like vaguely remember having one of these as a kid i don't know if it was actually christy or if it was a different color i don't know i don't know if it was like the pink or the blue one i don't know their name sorry i only know christy because i've been looking for her um but I remember the top because it just like clips off. I don't know why that entertains me so much, but something about that is just weirdly appealing. And I love the design. I think it's so cute. Like the swirls and the little rhinestone. It's just very charming to me. I really, really enjoy it. But of course for a mermaid doll, the tail is like the most important part, right? So this bottom part, the fin does just come off. It comes off very, very easily on this one. Um, that could just be an age problem though. Like I think these were from what, 2005 or something like that. 2003 is when the copyright is. So, you know, I can't really complain too much. The tail is like silicone though. Like there's a hard piece inside and then there's like a silicone shell, which I was not expecting. I don't know why I just like, I didn't remember that. <laughs> so that was like a fun little discovery. There's like rhinestones on the fin and also on the tail. And she does bend at the knee joint as well as like at the hip. This is where, um, if you watch the video, like I said, I kind of teased this doll in the collector tag video. Um, the reason that I was hunting so long for her was because I really wanted to find one in box because since it is the silicone, it does make more sense now knowing it's silicone. But when you have her seated, it bunches up here. And so if you have a doll that's been out of box for a long time, especially if kids have played with it, or even if it's just been displayed in the wrong position, that silicone will like rip along here. So I had to get one in the box to make sure that her tail was in pristine condition. And I'll be sure to like display her up like this so that it lasts for as long as possible. I just, she doesn't really fit in frame, sorry. <laughs> but she's so, so pretty. Y'all know I love mermaid dolls. I love fairy dolls and... I just think that Barbie nails it. I am discovering the more that I go along in like my journey as a collector, I really prefer Barbie when she's like themed. So like a brat stall, I'll have a brat stall that's just in a cute outfit, right? Or like a rainbow high doll. They're normally just in like an everyday outfit, you know? But Barbie, I think for me is at her best when she's a mermaid or a fairy or historical, you know, I just think that for me personally, I like thematic Barbies. So she's absolutely nailing that. Very happy with her. She does also come with a couple little things here. She came with a mirror and a comb and then more exciting. She comes with this little book and I very, very vividly remember the book, um, from when I was a kid. So that's kind of fun to recover. I won't like go through the whole thing, but it is like a pop-up book or like an interactive book. So like here, the fairy is like a pop-up and then there's like a little flaps to reveal stuff. It's super cute. Like this is adorable. Look, ah, I, another reason that I'm very excited that I managed to find her in box because I would have bought her in good condition anyway without the book. But I feel like the addition of the book is really, really cool. So 
Love that. Then next up, we're doing the Princess of the Incas. She did come with her certificate of authenticity. And then she did also come with a little Barbie saddle stand here. And the doll herself, guys. Every single time I open a doll from this line, I am amazed again. And like, you'd think that after a while they would stop surprising me. Like, hold on, I'm counting. I think I have 11 of these, including her. I could be wrong. But you'd think that after 11 dolls, I would not be so surprised, but she's just so, so beautiful. I love the metallic gold that they used. It's just so pretty. It's so much better than like a flat matte sort of gold that we sometimes see on Barbie accessories. Her face sculpt is so pretty. And her hair, I have no idea what to call this texture or fiber. So if you know, please let me know in the comments down below. Because I feel like it's meant to mimic like a micro braid or something like that. Again, I, I'm not trying to use the wrong terms. That's just like the closest thing that I have to say. But it's so cool. Like the texture is so beautiful, first of all. Like she looks great. But it also feels so fascinating and so soft. I love it. Like very, very well executed hairstyle. Her dress feels so high quality with the different fabrics and stuff. There is like buttons in the back here. I think it's all connected though. Yeah, so like the, um, I don't want to call it a belt because I feel like that's not technically the right term, but this middle piece here is sewn together in the back. So it's not like separate pieces, but it looks so pretty. I love this like material that she's got. And then mostly I'm really impressed by the prints. They're just so gorgeous. And it is, again, I mean, I know you can't <laughs> necessarily hear it, but it's very thick, like soft on the inside very very thick very high quality feeling and just absolutely gorgeous <laughs> and then for shoes she has these little sandals that are almost like felt on the bottom and then this ribbon kind of wrapping them around and keeping them on her feet and she's just perfect i don't really know what else to say like she just is perfect <laughs> and again i'm constantly surprised by this line. I'm going to be kind of sad when I've gotten all the ones that I want from this line because like, I don't want it to ever end, you know, like they're just so, so special and so beautiful. I don't really have the words for it, but that is the princess of the Incas. So then we move on to the enchantress from Fairytopia. I'm going to try to keep it together this time. Um, she came also with a certificate of authenticity and then also with this cute little like I almost Barbie trading card like I I don't know quite what to call it somewhere in between like a poster and a trading card really cute I love getting this like professional image of the doll here and then of course she also has a stand but the most important part is the doll herself keep it together rain <laughs> you don't have to cry again I'm like emotional every time I look at her. There's so many fabrics on this dress, like so many layers. The shimmer on this one, oh my God, it's so pretty. I love this color of yellow, especially against the purple. Like the contrast is just so, so beautiful. And again, like the different pieces really make it flow, make it just so, so pretty. I'm kind of starting bottom up here, sorry, but her face is obviously like the most exciting part. Uh, her shoes are really cool too. They're like squishy plastic and just very interesting in how they're constructed and how they stay on. I'm fascinated by them. They're really cute. Like you don't see them really because the dress definitely covers them, but I like knowing that they're there. Again, sparkle on here. The fabrics are so beautiful. I love, I guess collar might be a good word, but this piece here, like the rough she's got, the fabric is beautiful. The way it looks is beautiful. I'm obsessed. There's a lot of little details, like these pins. And I mean, her face. Look at her face. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for being emotional. She's just so beautiful. Like, I'm at a loss for words. I knew that I wanted this doll, but actually having her 
I feel like this is the same with all of the dolls. Like, all of these are, like, beautiful in the stock photos, but actually getting to have them is just so different. Amazing. Her hair is also pretty rough, so she's probably going to need some work, which is difficult because she's, like, sewn into her dress. She can't get undressed, and her wings are also sewn on. So it's going to take some finagling, but I'll make it happen. I'll give her the hair she deserves. The wings, too. I mean... I've been holding off talking about them because they're kind of the grand finale for me. Y'all know I love fairies. I did a whole fairy customization series and the wings are a very important part of a fairy doll to me. And they nailed it. They nailed it for her. They're, I feel like fairly simplistic in the construction and that it's just like a piece of plastic with some glitter and like some gold. I Paint probably is the wrong word, but you know. I could make something like this, is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, not to toot my own horn here, but it's not overly complicated in the construction. And I think it's better for that. Like some wings on any fairy doll, but like since we're talking Barbie here, like some wings now I feel like are really kitschy and extremely plasticky and a little bit too thematic. And they just, they just don't hit that sweet spot for me personally. This is, like, simple, but so elegant and so beautiful. I mean, you can see the way it's catching my ring light or, like, my box light. It's so pretty. Like, it, it takes so little effort for these wings to be beautiful. And I think that that's kind of more impressive, that they are realistically so simplistic when compared to some other wings. But they're just so elegant and so beautifully done that it works perfectly. So I'm going to get all of my new girlies up here one moment so we can close out the video. Okay, I got these two on their stands and I have to just kind of hold this gal, but that's okay. So this has been the haul for today. Again, I'm sorry if I sound kind of low energy. It's nothing with the you guys or like nothing with the dolls. I'm just, I'm just a little ouchy right now, but... I feel like this was definitely worth, like, the pain for. <laughs> they were very much worth filming the video anyway for. They're just so wonderful, and I'm so happy to have all of them in my collection. Y'all know I love mermaids. I was very grateful to be able to buy this doll off of one of you guys, because she's so beautiful, so perfect. Like, that line just speaks to me on such a deep level, so I'm super excited to have been able to to add her to my collection and very grateful to the person who sold her to me again i'm like not using names because i don't want to invade anyone's privacy if they don't want me to um and then obviously i'm extremely grateful to the person who gave me this enchantress barbie she's a stunner like look at these three they're three very different dolls <laughs> but they all are just so beautiful all a testament to how good barbie can be when she is at the top of her game so I'm very happy after today. I hope you guys did enjoy going along with me. I know that these secondhand hauls are, like, not as exciting in a review sense because they're not something that's, like, at Target right now. Um, but it's really, really fun for me to unbox these older dolls and kind of showcase ones that I had as a kid that I get to rebuy and then also ones that I've discovered too late as an adult that I'm kind of getting from the secondhand market and just sharing some older and different dolls with you guys. So I hope you did enjoy. Definitely let me know your thoughts on all these dolls in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.